everybody. We are live. I'm going to wait just a couple of minutes because I am early. But good morning or good evening, Diana. How are you? I see that you're on here already in the comments. I'm excited for today's soap. Is anybody else excited? You guys comment. Hi, Dawn. How are you? Hello. Uh, so, God's Hardly Girl Studio. What's your name? Yes, afternoon. I know. I see it's Dawn. I know it's you. We're all excited. We are excited. We have a new recipe. I did decide to to formulate a new recipe. So I'm excited for that. Tree. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. So I did decide to formulate a new recipe. And I decided to do a couple of additives. Um, just for different purposes. And we can go over that. So let me grab the recipe and we can go over it. I'm going to make um, this soap completely from scratch with you guys. With getting the mold ready. Everything. We're going to do everything from start to finish together. Hi Julie. Hi Patty. Hello everybody. Glad you guys are here. Um, I am giving a few minutes. We're just going to kind of go over the recipe before we really get started. For everybody else that may be joining or, you know, are generally just a few minutes late. Hi, Regina. Okay, so the recipe I formulated, um, it is in the description of this video, along with links to some of the additives and, um, you know, just some general information. But the recipe I formulated is 35% coconut oil, 30% palm oil, 30% rice bran oil, and 5% castor. And I only did a 2% super fat. I thought about doing a 0% super fat, but then I decided to go ahead and do just 2%, which is a very minimal amount. Because this soap is geared towards mechanics or gardeners that have extremely dirty hands. And with the mechanics, it's extreme, they have greasy hands. So I don't want a lot of extra free oil laying around in my bar of soap when it's done. Even bars of soap that have a 0% super fat are not going to be harsh on the skin um, if it is made properly. So just keep that in mind when you're formulating recipes. You don't have to have a crazy amount of super fat. When you make soap and it's 0% super fat, it's going to still be fine on the skin. It's just going to have no extra uh, free oils. Hello, we are ready. Yes, yes. I'm so excited for this ready. This video, we're excited. Um, so yes, I went for 2% super fat. I am going to, I was going to use Orange Ultra fragrance. Now you can use any type of fragrance that you would like, but I decided to go with Lemon Verbena. Um, just because I just like that scent really well. And I feel like it will lend well for either application. I always feel like gardeners, or not gardener shirt, mechanic soaps are always orange scented. So that's why I decided to go with Lemon Verbena. A little bit different. Um, you guys can, of course, get that fragrance on the website. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Dawn Lemon Verbena smells fantastic. So we're going to also, we're going to be adding in two tablespoons per pound of pumice. This is increased higher than the, what you normally do for additives. And that is because I want a super scrubby bar of soap. If you've been out gardening and if you did not wear gloves, um, I, am, I am one that is totally bad for when I'm working in my garden. I do not wear gloves. So I come in and my hands are absolutely disgusting. So I want an extra scrubby bar of soap. 
We're also going to be adding in one tablespoon per pound of bentonite clay and one tablespoon per pound of activated charcoal. So what I'm essentially going to do, I'm going to divide a portion of my soap off and I'm going to um, add activated charcoal to that. You guys all know that that pulls out oils and debris out of your skin. So activated charcoal is a great additive for this type of soap. And then bentonite clay is known to be useful in mechanics and gardener soaps. It's just widely known. It's one of the most common additives that is added to this type of soap. So like I said, I'm going to divide off portion of the soap. We're going to add activated charcoal to one part. And then the other part is going to be bentonite clay. And then when you mix the two together in your mold, finished mold, uh, you're going to have a nice swirl. So then you're going to have an aesthetically pleasing look bar of soap. <laughs> Dawn likes to feel the dirt. Absolutely. You, me too. I mean, like, I, I don't know. I feel like in my hands... Like, uh, I'm more clumsy when I have gloves on versus when I don't. And when you're weeding in the garden, um, especially when new plants are coming up, I, I just, like, I have to, you know, really pay attention to what I'm doing so I don't weed the wrong thing. So, all this information that I just went over is in the description of this video. So, um, with that said, I'm going to set up the camera over here. We are going to start measuring out everything. We're going to get the mold ready, and we are going to get this soap made. I did decide to do this in one of the tall, skinny silicon molds. I've not used a tall, skinny mold in a long time, so I wanted to do that. I am making a five-pound batch of soap, 55 ounces. So, I'm probably going to be using four, pa uh, four tablespoons of pumice maybe a little bit more. Um, I'll just see how I feel when I'm going, but uh, 55 ounces um, of oils when I mix with my uh, other, other, um, the lye and water, it actually ends up being a little over 82 ounces all together. So that's why I say this is my five pound soap batch because when I add the fragrance, when I add the lye water, uh, and I have all the oils mixed together. My finished bar of soap that I'm pouring into my mold is 82 ounces. So it's over five pounds when I'm pouring it in. <laughs> I'm getting skinny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, if you guys are interested in the, the mold that I'm using, you can purchase it on the website. There is a link right up here for supplies. You can order some of the supplies I'm using, uh, the wood mold that I'm going to be using. Um, all of that stuff is on the website for you guys. So let me move my chair and get you guys set up over here. Okay. So, all right. There we go. I think that's good. That's my drink out of the way. Um, I have... My water back here for my lye water, or not for my lye water, for my uh, stick blender. And then, so I have activated charcoal here. We have pumice powder. We have bentonite clay. I'm not going to add any of my other traditional additives that I do. I'm just going to be using these products. Here is my five pound tall skinny. If you guys have not watched my videos in the past on lining these, they're super, super simple to line. It'd be easier if I can get this paper out. All right. So this is just freezer paper. And how I do it is I lay it across. Just like this. And I use my finger to run along the inside lip of the mold. Just to make a score mark. All the way around the inside of the mold. And what this does, it gives you, let's see if I can show you guys. I don't, there, yeah, I think you can see it. it. It gives you the lines for the inside of your mold. So then we're just going to fold it 
So it will sit down inside the mold. Perfect time for this soap. It's going to be get ready to be gardening season. Um, so I'm really excited for this. I need my scissors. everything together but I did not all right okay so now once I have this folded um, I folded these two and I folded the bottom now where this point is I'm just going to fold this up like so and I'm going to cut off this extra. This is how I line all of my molds. Hi Maria. It is it is pretty here, Dawn. I'm so excited uh, when I get home this evening to walk outside. It's really nice here. So I'll try to show you guys better on this side. So I have just did my fold up for the marking that I made here. And then right here at this point is where I'm going to fold this up to meet this point. <clears throat> I'm going to grab this flap right here. And I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to line this right here. I'll show you. I'm going to line this crease up with the inside of the mold. So it's straight there. I'm gonna line that crease up, crease that, and then we're gonna cut off the extra that is overlapping. It's been a long time since I have lined a tall skinny mold. <coughs> we'll see how I do. long long time i mean years since i've used the tall skinny mold and then i take a two piece of tape and i just tape down this right here and it just stays out of my way so then we can open it up and we should have the perfect box that will fit down inside of our mold Just like that. So as you see, it fits down in there perfectly. Corners creased off. So then we're going to cut down the corners here. Both sides. I'm going to fold this down. I'm going to cut off this extra because it's just too much. And I'm going to get my piece of tape working. Tape that down just like that. Now I'm going to do the other side. When you do your crease, yeah, definitely do it like this. I have tutorials on my channel on how to line it like this. It completely fixes your corners. To where there's no it, it's not gonna leak I'll show you when I'm finished the inside because generally I don't line them on on video I line them after or I mean I line them beforehand and then this is just too long so I'm just gonna cut off that extra 
really quickly hold that down same way here I'm just gonna cut this extra off get it out of my way it's just too much and then this one I see the paper is really close so I'm just gonna put a little piece of tape so there we go there it is lined you can see the corner here the inside it's got an x but the x is on the outside so this is going to be nice and smooth corners are down there we go lined and ready to go that's how i line all my mold super easy keeps your molds clean You still do it wrong. <laughs> your soap got stuck with butcher paper. Yeah, because that will absorb the, the oil, the moisture. Oh, I bet it was a struggle. Jacqueline, I'm glad to have you back. Thank you, Diana. All right, so now... Now I'm going to start measuring out my oils that I need. Now I can do gloves. Uh, absolutely. Yes, the recipe is posted in the description. We went over the recipe when I first got on live, um, and I will go over it again as I mix it, as I measure um, everything out. So 35% coconut oil, 30% palm, 30% rice bran, 5% castor oil. <coughs> this is lots of hard oils. Um, it's 75% hard oils but I think we will be fine. I am going to measure out just my hard oils in this, in this container, and then we will do our liquid oils in another container because I'm soaping the heat transfer method. That's the way I always soap. You guys know that. And then um, I'll use this one for, I'm just going to wipe it out, make sure it's not dusty or anything. I'm, I'll use this one for my liquid oils. There we go. But we'll start out with our hard oil. So I'm going to start out with coconut oil. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still kind of under the weather. I'm just like, I've been struggling. Really have been struggling the last couple of weeks. I'm feeling much better. I love the heat tra transfer method too. Oh, thank you for posting the recipe. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm going to be using lemon verbena, and then I will be, yeah, the additives are in there, everything. But you can definitely do orange ultra. I just decided, you know what, I'm going to be a little bit different, and decided to do lemon verbena. It's still a citrus fragrance. All right, so I need 19.25 ounces of coconut oil. And so I'm going to end up using all of this, and then I'm going to have to open the container that I purchased. Ooh, I missed. It's a good thing. Like, I just cleaned my table off before I started. I always wipe it down. Even though my table looks like it's a hot mess. It's from years of abuse. Oh, 
All right. So let me get a paper towel. I'm going to wipe up my mess that I've created on my table. All right. So this is empty. We always save all of our buckets like this and we use them in the garden. They're great for when you're picking beans or whatever. Hi, Tessie. Yes, thank you guys. Uh, I missed comments. Oh no, everybody's sick. Everybody's sick, she says. That is no, no fun. I have been sick. Like I said, I feel okay. Um, but I have been sick for like two weeks. I feel all right, but my ear hurts really bad. That's not going to work. Aha! I was searching for my hard spoon. I knew it was not far. Oh, I hope everybody feels better, too. Being sick is no fun. My boys have a touch of it, but nothing, nothing crazy. Eric has got it. He's not feeling the greatest. He's had it for about four days now. All right, so 19, I'm at 18 and a half. I'm gonna, well, that's 19.35, so that's a little bit over. I try not to waste, that's why I like scrape it all back. Okay, there we go. 19.25. <laughs> you guys are funny <laughs> all right so now i'm going to measure the palm in here i'm gonna put this big bucket back here on the table So I need, for palm, I need 16 and a half ounces. And we are teared out, so we're ready to go. Now, if you don't want to use palm oil, you can use uh, any other type of hard oils you prefer. That is fine. Sixteen and a half. We're at eight and a half. Twelve and a half. So this scoop should do it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is all that I'm going to put in this container. 
for the moment. This is the hard oils. The liquid oils are going to be mixed right here, which is rice bran and castor. I mean, 16 and a half ounces of rice bran. Now you can use olive oil if you would rather do that. Or any, um, any liquid oils you would like. You can totally customize this recipe. All right, so 2.75 ounces of castor. This one's almost empty, so I have another little container, but it should be enough in here. We're at 2.4, 5, 6, 7, 5. Okay. So there is that portion. Now, what I'm going to do, measure out my fragrance. I'm using 0.8 ounces of fragrance up. 0.8% is what I'm, or yes, 0.8 ounces per pound. 2.75 ounces altogether for my recipe. Perfect. Let me get a paper towel to wipe off that dribble. All right, fragrance is ready. Now, what else should we get ready? You're so excited for this soap. I am too, because I'm going to be using this soap personally. All right, so now I'm going to measure out my lye water. And I'm actually going to get a fresh pitcher here. We'll use this one. So water-wise, we are going to be using 16 and a half ounces. Now, if you want to add a little bit of slip or silk uh, to this, you can definitely add tuss of silk into your lye water. We are essentially ready to get this show on the road. All right, in with the lye, I need 8.25 ounces. It's going to be pushing it for this to hold this. Almost there. Got it. That was close. That little pitcher is full. I'm going to move this scale out of the way. And we're just going to stir this for just a minute. Um, okay, so I haven't been looking at questions. Maria. Oils. All right. Where was the question? Oh, my goodness. It's like, okay, Jen. Uh, we do not carry them in bulk, unfortunately, Maria. We don't. I wish we did. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay, so yeah, talking about the coffee grounds and things. Um, yes, you can also make this soap with coffee and add coffee grounds. Coffee grounds is a known um, odor eliminator. 
So you definitely could use um, coffee grounds in here along with coffee and other additives, other um, scrubby factors. You can use walnut shells. I am I stay away from walnut shells because of my allergy, but you can use walnut shells. You can use um, the, I think, I think I've seen some other questions or other answers up here. Oh, orange peel. Yes, definitely use orange peel. You can use whole oats. Um, we have, we have ground oats would be good, but they are a softer scrub. Hemp seeds, yes. Poppy seeds. There is a number of additives or you know scrubbing items that you could add to this for um what you're wanting to do if you don't have any allergies a uh, walnut shells is one of the biggest things that are recommended if you don't have any allergies i just personally stay away from that Ah, Diana, that's good to know. But I'm just doing just the normal, you know, not overly complicated mechanic gardener soap. Simple oils, because we want this to be cleansing, not stripping. We, we want this to be cleansing. Keep my watch covered. Um, I, okay, so I don't, I, we purchased orange peel here in bulk. Um, I didn't do them on hand, by hand. But I would assume doing it the way you're doing would work. But you said the pieces are still too big. Do you have a coffee grinder? Maybe a coffee grinder would work better. I don't know why it's oh hey i don't know why that message was showing up you guys should have told me that there was a message showing up on the screen sorry don't know what was going on there a spice grinder that would work yes this is this mold that i'm going to be using is the five pound tall skinny it will be filled completely to the top Yeah, you can get a you can get an inexpensive coffee grinder um, on Amazon or spice grinder. You can get them inexpensive. Yeah, this is the five pound tall skinny mold that I'm going to be using. Uh, these are available for purchase. Yes, yes. Just there's a link right there. You can head over and order. Eric's actually been shipping orders. I know it says one to two weeks on there. But he's been getting orders out. Uh, like if it was, if it's placed today, it probably would go out like Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Like he he's been doing really, really, you know, getting orders out really quickly. But we have that on there just in case you know something would happen and we get a time crunch or you know we have that time frame on there just in case, just for a cushion. But just know that orders have been shipping faster than the one to two weeks. Generally within a few days. You're welcome. Yeah, a small food processor would work too. Okay, so I'm just going to use my stick blender to help me finish the last little bit of oils that need melting. And then we're going to add in the liquid oils. 
and then we will stick one just a little. Like this soap is going to be made very quickly. Yes. Okay. So yes, Dawn. Um, I will show you. I will show you. Let me give me just a second. Now, hopefully I do not stick my foot in my mouth, but here's the soap boxes. It's got a bar of soap in it. Let me take it out. Okay. This is my patchouli soap made in the standard five pound mold. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> Good. See, look, look at that. There's the bar of soap just positioned a different way instead of sitting this way. It's, I mean, it's like perfect and it fits, you know, you just cut it. It'll just, uh, your swirl will be like this one's going in the box sideways. These ones will come out and go right in there the right way. So yes, it definitely will work. You're welcome. Hi, joining late. Oh yeah, you can you can definitely rewatch uh, the beginning. We just went over the recipe that we're doing. We've lined our wood mold uh, and we've measured out all of our um, oils and everything. So yeah, if you guys want the tall skinny mold, it's actually the most popular mold that he makes. I just shipped out two yesterday. So in with our liquid oils, I am going to scrape this and I'm going to use this little pitcher to uh, divide off for the activated charcoal portion. The activated charcoal portion is going to be smaller than the bentonite clay. And you can definitely add oatmeal. Absolutely. <laughs> If you want that extra moisturizing, I did a low super fat because I don't want a lot of free floating oils in this recipe because I want this bar of soap to be cleansing and to pull oil away from the skins. This is not a bar of soap that I would recommend to use on your whole body. Just your hands. All right. So I'm just going to keep my stick blender in here. We're going to just fill this up three quarters of the way, roughly. That's going to be our activated charcoal part. Let me get a spoon. Now, I don't want to use my, my two tablespoon scooper. Um, that's what this is, two tablespoons. Uh, for my activated charcoal, so I'm just going to use a little spoon and kind of just eyeball it. Where I'm shooting for like a tablespoon of activated charcoal here. That looks pretty good. Now, I have a little bag of pumice that I want to use. I probably should have added that beforehand, but that's okay. I'm going to add two tablespoons of pumice into the activated charcoal. It's okay if it's a little bit extra. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, the oils, coconut oil, palm, rice bran, and castor. That is all the oils that are in here. The coconut oil is at 35%, so it's a higher percentage than I normally would do. Okay, so I've added four tablespoons here, two tablespoons there of pumice. That's going to be our scrubber. 
help clean everything. This is my bentonite clay, which also helps pull oils away. There's a tiny bit left in this bag, and I didn't want to waste it. So I'm just going to dump it in here. It was a tiny, tiny amount. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons, a little over, of bentonite clay to this bigger portion. Now you can totally change up your ratios however you see fit. This is just what I'm going to do. Going to give this a little bit of a stir. I'm not too concerned with, you know, um, the, the recipe setting up or anything of that nature because I'm not going for, you know, crazy swirls or nothing like that. But, you know, I, it's, it's fine. It's not setting up quickly. Okay, Leticia, you were asking about the mold. What is your question? Will you ask again so I don't have to touch the laptop? Will you ask me your question again, please? I can hear the scrubbing, you guys. I can hear it. I'm just going around and getting it off the edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my fragrance. Get this stirred in. <laughs> Thank you, Bianca. Oh, this smells fantastic. I'm just going to hand stir this for the moment. Still just hand stirring. It's doing beautifully. A little bit of a jizz there. We're going to get this mixed up. Letitia, I keep looking, waiting for your question again. If I get done before you... um, Oh, the price of the mold. Ah, uh, the five pound is 20, 20 some dollars. I, I want to, 26 dollars maybe. I can't, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Dawn, if you're available, if you'll grab a link to it um, and, and drop it in here, that would be great if you are available. If not, it's okay, I'll do it when I'm done. Now, should I do an in-the-pot swirl, you guys? What do you think? You love my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. In-the-pot swirl? What do you think? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. So I do my in the pot swirls a little bit different. Um, I don't personally, you know, pour it into certain spots. I just kind of swirl it around gently, pull it up. Now, since I know this bar of soap is going to be going in um, my soap boxes. I'm not, I want a flat top because I want it to fit my soap boxes. So this is how I do my in the, in the pot swirl. And I'm just going to gently pour this. And then next week, when we come back on, you guys, um, we will
Now, if you overfill this, you may have to, um, because this has got a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, but if you overfill it, you may have to, you know, if you want to use the soapbox, you may have to <coughs> plane the top down a little. Or we can, um, you can back your recipe off just a couple, a few ounces But for me, for now, I'm just going to get this on here and I'll see how it works out at the end, the end, whether or not I would have to shave off a tiny bit or if it would be all right. So as you can see, this is super full and I am just gently wiggling it, flatten that top out. Gently, gently. There we go. Perfect. Okay, guys. It's done. All right. So I'm going to clean my mess up a little bit and sit and look at and answer any questions anybody might have. get a drink of my drink like I said I'm a little bit under the weather still um so talking a whole lot I get choked up <laughs> not on purpose okay let me come put this down let's see all right 26 thank you Dawn so much okay um You, okay, so Hillary missed the beginning. Did you mention substitutes for palm? Yeah, you can use any hard oils. A lot of substitutes that I saw online was lard or um, uh, tallow. You could do those. Yes, yes, I'm at the shop. So I definitely, once I cut this soap, um, next week's live, I'll show you guys the soap after, yes, beef tallow, yes, um, is another substitute um, that I have seen. <laughs> what am I drinking? This is, um, this is just bubbly water with, um, Sugar-free Skittles, this is the lemon, lime, the green Skittle, essentially, is what this is. So, I have a soda stream, and I make bubbly water, and I add um, sugar-free water mixes to my, wa to my bubbly water, and it gives me like I'm drinking soda or pop, because I like pop. But without all of the sugar and all the other additives and things that comes in when you drink pop. All right, guys. Thank you, Maria, so much. I appreciate that. I do. Thank you. My hair's a little bit of a mess. It's windy today. But yeah, so the soap is now done. It's like 49 minutes in. And like you guys, we talked for the first like 10 minutes. Um, I went through the whole process with you guys of lining the molds, measuring everything out. So I feel like it's really quick recipe. Yeah, definitely. Essentially, that's what I did. Mayberry Soap Company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> Uh, Diana, probably. I always let all my soaps go through gel. I don't do anything to prevent it. They just actually sit out on my counter. 
I let all my soaps just sit on the counter until um, I actually let them sit a couple of days. So I made it today. I probably won't cut this soap till Monday. I let them sit for several days before I cut them. So do you guys have any questions about the recipe? I appreciate it all. I mean, like, there's almost 50 of you guys on here. This is amazing. <laughs> Bianca needs to know what next week is. I don't know. What do you guys want to do next week? We have not just, we've not done it. Lisa had a question. Um, what did I miss? I'm scrolling back up. Did I answer your question? I think I did. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely show you guys the cut. I probably won't cut it till Monday. And when I do cut it, I will um, post it on in the group for sure. Shampoo bars. I have foot scrub on here. We have uh, a body souffle. I have foaming scrubs on here. Um... Summer lotion. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad I answered your question. Good. <laughs> we definitely could do summer lotions. And I could look up um, foot scrubs, like, you know, formulate a recipe for that. Now, Bianca, I wouldn't, I won't do a sunscreen just because that's really regulated by the FDA and I do not want to land myself with any type of lawsuit um, claiming that something that I make was sunscreen um, because you have to have that tested. Aloe soap? Yes, we could. I, I would have to get my hands on fresh aloe. Because I don't have an aloe plant. I have made aloe soaps in the past using aloe vera juice. Yeah, um, the SPF is 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 drug related, absolutely. So I, I won't I won't do the sunscreen, unfortunately. But there are lots of people that do do sunscreens, and that's fine. Bianca, I do have a facial soap recipe. I do. And I've made that before. But um, we can always make new soaps. That's, I mean, we can always revisit old soaps. All right, guys. So I've got ideas for next week. Uh, maybe if I can land some aloe, fresh aloe, we can do an aloe soap. I think that would be fun. And then I also want to, I also want to really do like a foot scrub. I think that would be fun too. All right, guys. So I guess that's it for this week. I appreciate all of you guys. Um... Yeah, Maria, I have a facial soap. Absolutely. Yes. Rosemary, peppermint, and tea tree is what I use. And I mix um, sea clay, activated charcoal, and um, rose clay uh, for it. Now, you can make different facial soaps to uh, do different things, but that's what I do with mine. Petty Bombs. Okay. All right, guys. I have a lot of ideas. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Um, so, yeah. Until next week, I will see you guys all later. I will post pictures of the cut soap in the in Be Scented. So, if you guys are not in the Be Scented group, please make sure you're in there because I'm going. I'll post pictures of the cut soap in there, and then I'll also um, we'll show it next week on live. All right, guys. Bye.